Hello, my name is Deirdre Scanlon. I'm from Ballina in County Tipperary, which is approximately 20 kilometres away from the University of Limerick. I am a qualified primary school teacher with over 17 years experience working with children from four to 12 years of age. For the past seven years, I have been specifically working in the area of special or additional educational needs. In 2014, I completed a postgraduate diploma in the area of special educational needs. And earlier this year, I completed a certificate course in child and youth counselling. My research paper will be structured around children and bereavement, as this year my caseload in school includes two young girls whose mothers have passed away, one recently during our lockdown towards the end of March and one two years ago. My research question is, how is music used as a tool to support children in bereavement? An exploration of theory and practice. The purpose of my paper is to examine both the theory behind using music as a tool to support children to explore and express their grief, and also to look at current practices in the area of childhood bereavement through the lens of community music, music therapy and community music therapy, working both nationally and internationally. I will also research services which currently provide support for bereaved children in the Republic of Ireland and also explore current practices and pedagogy around working with bereaved children within the Irish primary school system and curriculum. To gain a greater understanding of how children grieve, I am reading a book by Sue Trace Lawrence entitled The Grieving Child in the Classroom, A Guide for School-Based Professionals by Rutledge Publications. In the book, Lawrence outlines the six general principles of childhood grief, which are that children grieve in spurts, that their reactions can appear inappropriate to adults, that the effects of grief may present as somatic symptoms, that their reactions to grief may be delayed and sometimes for years, that children respond in different and sometimes unexpected ways to deaths of family members or friends, and that children have difficulty identifying and managing negative emotions. She also goes on to acknowledge that, quote unquote, one of the first steps in understanding childhood bereavement is investigating the meaning and implications of death. Comprehending meaning depends on the cognitive abilities of a child, which depends on age, experience and developmental stage. I will also research theories and methodologies of community music, music therapy and community music therapy and how they are framed into a therapeutic model to support bereaved children. One of my readings is a book by Gary Ansdell entitled How Music Helps in Music Therapy and Everyday Life, in which he describes the community music therapy movement as successfully advocating, quote unquote, a broader social practice supported by a psycho-sociocultural theory on music and well-being. One of the themes that I have uncovered so far in my reading, and one that I'm very excited about exploring further, is the use of songwriting as a tool to enable bereaved children to explore and express grief by singing their stories. Songwriting for children is a tool that I currently use in my own teaching practice. So learning about how writing and creating their own songs can help children through the bereavement process holds a special interest for me. Thank you for listening. I look forward to meeting you all virtually in November. Slán.